Hello, wonderful people, and welcome back to Critical Misses and our finale for Masks Advanced Studies. I am Pope, your humble narrator. But before we get into tonight's festivities, uh, let's go around and meet up with our fantastic fellow storytellers. First up uh, is, is Kayla. How are you doing, friend? Hey y'all, I'm 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 doing ju just fine. My name is is Kayla Bel Belmont, and I'm going to be playing Strider from the Protege Playbook. I'm excited. Yes, uh, and fighting alongside with with Kayla and Strider is Layla. How you doing, friend? Doing good. Um, hello, I'm Layla Bamanziari. I use they, Z pronouns. I'm playing Starla Delara, who just uses they, them pronouns, um, playing the reformed. And I am also very excited to see what happens. And last but certainly not least is our good friend, Faye. How are you doing? I'm doing good. And I'm going to be playing our uh, Nova Loki. Yes. Well, to get all of you up to speed with the, the current run here, uh, our, our young university age heroes have gone through a lot. Um, it's about their, their university studies, but seems as though the world is in a perilous place due to the fact that most of Empire State's superheroes are elsewhere, fighting some sort of trans-dimensional threat, leaving the Empire State easy pickings for most of its villains, those that have stayed behind. And through beckon call by allies enemies and others they have found themselves embroiled in something that is a threat to the multiverse the timeline as wily a a a time twisting villain seems to try to be bringing everything apart but last issue, we found out that Wiley had an ally. One that used to be Striders. In Whiplash. Who, by last known area of operation, was in Paradise City. Home to one of the major bases for the corporation. A conglomerate of supervillains off on the west coast and with help from one of Strider's old allies part of the old team uh, Rune they made your way to Paradise City that is where we are going to pick up this issue as you have just teleported in Rune closing the gate behind you. You find yourselves downtown in one of the parks. By a duck pond, no less. And it's peaceful. It's late afternoon. Um... Moon will try and then just so things are easier should things go sideways and we'll stay here. That way, if you need an exit, you know what point to head to. I appreciate a room. I just look to. I hate to stress it, but things did go bad. She's not the person you remember. Oh. 
You know me, I don't like to give up on folks. We'll, we'll give, we'll try, and if thing, things go bad, we'll head back, okay? Yeah. Much as I don't know if I trust her, Strider, I do trust you, so I'm here with you. We need Jill's backup just in case things go bad. That's for damn sure. Um, I guess I'm going to look around and see if there's anything that's off kilter around here or if there's like some sort of like I guess radar that we can get. I don't know. Well, it sounds like an assess the situation if I ever heard one. Mm -hmm. So why don't you give that a roll? Alright. Yeah. Okay, so that's a nine. So that is a partial. Uh-huh. And so you get to ask one off of our Waffle House menu of questions. Um, let's see. The situation but here's the biggest one. What here is in the greatest danger? Like, I'm looking around trying to see where the, like, spots that she would most likely try to hit, I guess. They're the most... The thing that's probably in the gravest of danger mm -hmm. is there is an Aegis security vault here in Paradise mm -hmm. City. Gotcha. So if anything is going to have what Wiley needs, or hell, even the corporation, it's going to mm -hmm. be in that vault. Yeah. We'll look to the group. We should probably check the vault first. She's already been there. We can possibly like get 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 a trail, and if not, well, we can get the jump on her. Hopefully. Um, I know that we talked a little bit about this last episode, but um, like, is it possible for me to do and assess the situation just to see if I know anything more about um? her time with the corporation? Sure. Awesome. Yeah. I forgot that I don't have superior anymore. Oof, that's nice. I know nothing. Um, it's not that you know nothing, it's just you don't know a great amount of detail. Like, a lot of the jobs that she went on were by request of the board. So she was at the beck and call at of folks at the highest level. Yeah, like my parents? Yes. Oh, yikes. Um, is there any way... I don't know if this... I don't... Here's the thing. I know that Strider trusts Rune, but, like, I don't know this person at all. Can I, like... Because I'm just trying to get more information about these characters, can I like try to pierce the mask or something sure. like that? Okay. Da, 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 real plus mundane. Ooh, I have mundane now. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, um, when you, uh, you get to ask okay. three. I get to ask three. Um, I guess, what are you really planning? Like, it's it's just very interesting that you, like, they showed up here out of nowhere. Rune is trying to fix whatever's going wrong with the timeline. Okay. Um, what do you intend to do? I guess the I guess the better way to phrase that for this situation is like, are there any plans that they have? It's mostly dependent on what y'all find. 
like he is going to do what is absolutely necessary to try and stabilize time and space. How, what about how could I get your character? Because I feel like this character knows more, like hasn't really ex like, like they keep talking about how dangerous this person is, but they're not really telling. I'm not here. I feel like something happened. And so is there a possible is like, can I be like, how could I get your character to reveal like what happened between like them and this other person? That's a good question. For for Rune to open up, um, especially with something that is obviously painful, would probably require either retrieving Whiplash or doing something impressive to to aid in his efforts to stabilize the timeline. Okay, cool. This is all good information. So, Loki, what are your thoughts going on right now? Um, I was wanting to see if Loki could do their Out of This World. Yeah, sure. To Let's see what's going on with the wibbly wobbly timey wimey bullshit. Yes. Full hit. Yay. Okay. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do after that. These are some final <laughs> episode rolls, guys. Let's go. Well, uh, that is from our Nomad playbook and out of this world. Uh, full hit. So. New interesting hit, you insight. You come to an interesting insight. I will tell you what. You can also shift your own labels according to match your new understanding. Okay, so now that you're in a new locale, not just like trans-dimensional, but still in the same plane of existence, but a different locale, you're, you're beginning to sense that reality is thinning. It hasn't gotten to the point where you're seeing like incursions from stuff from other planes or timelines but it's the colors of you know plants the city buildings to your eyes at least someone who's trained in, in, in magic they are either too vibrant or too dull it, you're beginning to see like elements of, of, of the weave of the threads starting to strain. And yeah, things, things are getting bad. Uh, so you either have to find the device and somehow turn it off or you need to start whomever or whatever Wiley has swapped in time and space, you have to start putting things back where they should be and when they should be. We're never putting McSwitzerland back. <laughs> McSwitzerland is not allowed to change. Mick Switzerland uh -huh. is exactly where it's supposed to be. Mick Switzerland also wasn't Wiley. Mick Switzerland was Loki. That's true. That's true. So They're just going to make another Mick Switzerland if they have to. You, 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 that is the, the realizations you've come to in this moment. Now, do you want to shift your labels or are you happy with where they are? I shifted Savior up and Superior down. Okay. 
secrets from him. You think Loki shares that with the rest of the group or keeps it to themselves? This is the issue. Loki wants to tell you guys, but there's strangers there. Oh yeah, Rune? Yeah. Yeah. So you can start um, heading off. Yeah. Hmm. I'm tell Rune. Uh, just keep an eye out, and we'll get you on the the ray, 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 the radio of shit goes south. I use my grappling shield. Nearest rooftop. Head for into the city. Once we were away from Rin, Loki would be like, okay, shit's gone weird. Don't like this. We need to sort this. Not because it's my fault. Maybe because it's partially my fault, but you know, nothing it's... has ever been your fault, except for the possum. That is your fault, but nothing else has ever been your fault. Also, do you think Paradise City could do with a um, McSwitzerland of them their own? Well, here's the thing. I think that McSwitzerlands are very powerful, and we can't just go <laughs> handing those out. You know, like we have to be careful with where we place them. I we don't know to... if it's up to us, though. I think I think it's a chain that they can just decide where they want to go next, right? They still need the weird magic bullshit that I did the first time. Oh, OK. All right. That makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. So we could use it as a bargaining chip. Yeah, they're like people... the franchise and Loki <laughs> is like the corporate owner. Yeah. Uh, not yet. Not yet. But we're looking we'll to franchise. You know, Lo yeah. Loki. I I didn't like take you for a cat a, ca a capitalist. But... I make no money on this. I just make people happy. I get free nuggets. Mick Switzerland, more gotcha. like Mick America. <laughs> mm. Um. Okay. All right. So what you're saying is that we have to find a way to put things back where they're supposed to be. What does okay. that even mean, though? Do we have to, like, take people to their own times, or...? Times and places. Do we know everything we need to put back where it's supposed to be? Oh, no. 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 Not in the I slide. think we're just going to wing it. <laughs> I think that's our whole plan. I think part wing of it. the plan is also going to be trying to um, do an interdimensional thievery of that device again. Everything I use seems to end up in the Feywild, so I have a feeling they might be there. But also, this will be the one time that it went somewhere else. Mm. But anyway, we'll, we'll, but, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, right now. Did they I burn it? Mm -hmm. okay. I did not misspeak. <laughs> because we're because we're here to see if um, Whiplash has information. And does actually have information on Wiley. Because we know that she broke in to the base via our cameras. And I know that blur from anywhere. So our first priority is getting the info from her. The second is trying to is trying to save her and and if we can't we have to go if we can't can i give her to titania this seems to be a rolling i i thing. would i would prefer no because mm. she's still my friend whichever f fucked up thing has 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 happened to her i don't she kills people now Strider, I I know I that you're imagine. saying the truth, but to my mind, it's like the furthest thing that I can think about when it comes to her. Strider, I can't. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm both in your shoes and in the opposite of your shoes. I there are plenty of people who I've cared about, and then I found out they were really, really bad, but only because I cared about them when I was bad, and then stopped being bad so it's like kind of the same and also opposite 
Um, I can I can I do you have any? Can I do a comfort and support role for a Strider? I don't know if you have any. If I don't know if you have any conditions. I uh, I haven't had a single condi 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 condition this whole game. But you can also for some reason I don't know why. If but... I hit, yeah, if but... you hit, yeah, yeah. So is it really mundane? Because really... I have mundane now, so now I'm doing all these like mm. mundane and. Is it Ooh, bad that I kind of want to help you try and comfort and support, but I know it's going to fail? I mean, you we, could certainly try. You could. We never know what the dice are going to come up. It's roll 20. It is... Nope. A, a, I have a, minus, a strange beast. I have a minus four I, to it. So it's I think it's... Three. I think with these misses, it's less of y'all just messing up what you're trying to say and more just him just like just yeah, trying to really... process the idea of like his best friend being, you know, a villain who kills people. That's fair. Okay, That's so when he does find Whiplash, where are we going? Where are we gonna... You're, you're headed oh, to the ages. We're going to Vault. Um... Okay. The the Aegis Vault is sort of a public secret, at least here in Paradise City. Um, it it it's on the northern outskirts, towards the mountains, uh, hmm. near the the Redwood National Forest. And so, right as you are getting out there, getting out of the the urban setting and into more of the natural wilds there is a large fenced very brutalist architecture building that that sits in the middle of freaking nowhere <laughs> it's like there's no windows on this thing it's just a fucking piece of stone you know it is a heavily fortified rock in the middle of nowhere <laughs> I guess I'm going to go up to, like, the front gate as I, like, kind of leap off of one bill, bill, building and and down to the street. I look to see if there's a guard or anything. Um, I'm not going to make you roll. Yeah. Uh, you, you head to the, the fence of this place. Mm -hmm. You head to the guard, guard station. Um, there are three guards knocked unconscious. Like I think your they, friend's here. They have been clocked hard. Um, I'm gonna check their their uh, their pulses. They're they're alive. Two okay. two of these guys' jaws are just broken. Okay. They're gonna be. They're going to be having their dinner through a straw. Hmm. Uh, hmm. The third, um, like, the a good number of ribs are broken. Breathing's a bit ragged, but they'll live. Okay. I look down to them and say shit. And I'm going to use my communicator to just call in just um, an enough. An 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 anonymous just nine one one call. Okay. Just being like, hey, these guys are hurt. Um. Don't send a lot of folks because <laughs> there's there's a speedster in here. You know, I don't want people to get fucked up or whatever. Just you know, grab them, go. They, um, I I figure you just leave that message before the emergency services can ask questions and come yeah online. yeah because because. Trying to explain explain all this, I know it's just going to take more time, and by that time she might be gone. So yeah. So I have I an idea. To... Yeah, what's your idea? Um, we want to stop her getting out, right? Yeah. So we want to go in. I can yeah. create a moat on the outside. Keep anything I want inside the area, like I did with um. The vampire bitch. Oh, like the shield thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
if I do it for once we're inside, I just need to keep my concentration on it. You're going to need, need a distraction then. Oh, no, I just, need to, to get this done. I just need to keep my concentration up. I can just well, you, do it. I'm, I'm saying that if she, like, sees you and sees you trying to, like, do something, like, her first thing is to try to get the fuck out of your range, so you're going to need a distraction? Yeah. You know, if, I have if, found if, that I can piss people off pretty easily, and I'm very good at being a distraction in that way. Hmm. I want to try something first. If that's okay. Ryder, I think I'm okay with you trying whatever you want, but I think we should still do Loki's thing, even when you're trying whatever you're going to do. Well, no, like, I'm I'm saying, saying that I can distract, and if mm. things go south, I can be that distraction for Loki to, like, do the thing. Okay, I'll, well, I'm right behind I'll you. I'll be in right? there, but... Okay, I'll be in the sphere, but... Essentially bait, essentially, is what I'm thinking of. Is everyone okay with that, or...? I mean... Um, I don't know how I feel about you putting yourself up for bait. Um, I know that I'm gonna be one step behind you in there. Okay. Same. We going in loud or quiet? Um, quiet. Is yeah, I mean, possible. you know Whiplash. You know Whiplash better than we do. I'm um, also they are a speedster. So yeah. if we go in loud and fast, I have a feeling that she's going to be faster and maybe at least yeah. an equal volume. Okay. So before we go in, I would like to do my burns okay. to get my moat up. Yay. Oh, okay, full hit. Dang. Uh, you yeah. got points. So I'm gonna use one for my um my moat. Okay. That have us inside the moat. Right. So you guys enter the facility. Um I'm guessing you're going through the main entrance, so heavy double doors. But you yep. notice that very quickly, one, doors aren't locked. Two, you can definitely see a number of guards just splayed out like the ones in the guard post. Uh, and then, Loki, please describe for me how how does the, the moat look like when you activate it this time? Can we say that we dragged the bodies on the other side of where the moat was going to be so the cops can get them? Mm. Oh, the only people that can't... Is the people that can't pass through it are people that I deem a threat. Wow. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So it, it'll hold back threats as long as you keep your attention on it. Huh? So basically, I don't view the medical staff and the unconscious guards as threats. Uh -huh. So they can still get brought out. Um, so I, I feel like Loki wants to be a little dramatic. Uh -huh. Unheard of. Completely. Uh -huh. um, so like right as they're um, about to go in, they're just kind of like put their hands together and look up. And just around the building is this shimmering, uh, almost opaque sort of grey. Like like a grey um, haze, but also if you look at it and uh, while you're looking at it, it's almost like it's constantly moving and the movements are all like slight uh, uh, rainbows as if like light refracting off of refracting off and just making it like it it both looks dark and grey, but also somehow very gay and rainbow. Lots of prisms. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, this is my this is my aesthetic and I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna need some wall art of this at some point. Yeah. Okay, so Coolest sure. architecture 
Grayness and Lisa Frank all the We're same keeping time. the speedster in through the power of gay and goth. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's like this wall is like those two like like sisters with the one with like the rain the rain the rain the exactly rainbow hair and about. the other one. It's like super stern. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So oh. you you've you've got your cure poster and your Lisa Frank trapper keeper. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so the moat activates. Hmm. Uh, right then, an alarm goes off. Oh, because I'm matching. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah. That that would make sense that the vault has you know alarms for that kind of thing. Well, it looks like it doesn't matter if we're going in quiet or not. Strider, do you want to lead the way? Sure. All right. Let's think. go. All right. I guess we're just going to start walking down to the vault area. As as we say in my home country, mm -hmm. here we, here we, here we fucking mm -hmm. go. It's like, here we, now. here we. Here we fucking go. And I use been reading the files on Whiplash, even though this isn't the first time I met them. This is the first time in the game I've met them. So I don't know how that works. We'll, we'll, we'll say, yeah, we can okay. have it have it here. Okay. And, and I, I don't know if this is possible. Um, it says under Unleash Your Powers, you can extend your senses. Mm -hmm. Um, is it possible because like I'm like a bow and arrow person that maybe I can see if I can feel like um, like where they might be or like if they're somewhere near if I can hear them when you're closer possibly but mm -hmm. at, at this point let's let's hit up the the reading the files okay yeah. so that's no a problem hit. Hmm. okay and sure. with that uh, uh, hit tell the team one important detail you know from your studies. I will tell you if there's anything different. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can ask me a follow up question, which I must answer honestly. Mm -hmm. So, this is where you get some narrative control. I'm thinking, because I'm trying to think of like what makes sense for a speedster. I know that they're like I like the idea that like their speed is like quasi magical in the sense they didn't get this from like being blown up in a lab or anything like that <laughs> um, but instead they messed with a magical artifact at one point when they were a kid and got this stuff um I think the speed also requires, like, for them to, like, be able to not, like, see where they are, but, like, that if they want to... Sorry, I'm just trying to think. Um, no, take your time. There, there's no need to rush. I think one important detail that I've learned about them is that in like super high stress situations, um, they can turn that speed into like, uh, like a blast, but it needs a recharge for like a few seconds. And but I know that's when they're the most vulnerable because they have to like get their speed back. I guess if that makes any sense. Okay, so like again. You, you, I'm giving you narrative control. Yeah. control okay. here. I'm just wanting to help define things. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, God through magical forces, they can typically use their their super speed. But if they want to do something aside from very fast movement, if they're trying to do like the tornado blast or yeah. um, like the the moving through walls shtick that some speedsters do, yeah, there is then a cool off period where they can't do any of those gimmicks mm -hmm. and they're slower mm -hmm. is that what you're defining 
Yeah, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, because again, I don't want to just like, aha, I know know this one thing that's going to help me beat the bad guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, So, what I'm going to say is different. Okay. That you can. You're getting the sense from putting the pieces together. Mm -hmm. As a lot of stuff has been slightly off also your time away Mm -hmm. seeing room you have the feeling that that cool down period Mm -hmm. is probably much more narrow than it used to be yeah guess I'm gonna ask the follow up question then Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to ask um Any ideas, gang? What are the um, options with read the files? Oh, it says uh, on a 10 plus, ask the GM just a follow up like, qu- a question, and they will answer it uh, 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 honestly. What you can do is we can use one of the mechanics that I love with PPDA is mm-hmm. use a hold. So you mm-hmm. can hold your question. Mm-hmm. Till later, so yeah. that is something that you I'll can... hold it. Yeah, so we'll we'll do that. So when it when one comes to mind, you can use it. Mm. So, klaxons are sounding. The the lights go from the, the normal white fluorescent with the hum to that. I like to refer to it as uh, Stranger Things red. Mm-hmm lighting that is now in all of the corridors and as you're going down you're following a trail of bodies these folks are broken unconscious but they're not dead really interesting that none of them are dead strider you think it's because they just didn't want to take the time to kill them or i just don't see I've, I've just known a lot of villains, and most of the villains I know don't have qualms about quick and easy kills. I wish I had an answer, but you're asking a guy that's been away from their friends for like 10 plus years. I don't know. I just don't know. As you get nearer and nearer to vault, it, it's it's very much the 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 tide of the groaning and the unconscious, um, as though Batman on a bad day has been through here. Oh, jeez. Okay. As these people are going to be in traction for probably a couple of months, hmm. but they're alive, uh, and. Eventually, you make your way to the second Mm sub-basement. This is where you think the primary vault is. Um, And you do note that this heavy, and I mean heavy, vault door standing about roughly 10 feet tall and see how thick it is because it hangs open probably about a little over 14 inches thick the primary vault for the Aegis facility is open and you haven't felt heard or seen whiplash yet so, by process of elimination, she's in there. What do you all do? Um, I know that I think I stay close to Loki, um, just because I know that they have to keep their concentration on that, unless I'm incorrect about how the spell works, but you need to keep your concentration on that. I know it's not like D&D, but like, I want to be able to defend you just in case getting hit would cause you to drop it. 
So I want to stay nearby Loki. That's a good point. Spider, do you want to try? I mean, I, I want you to be able to do whatever you think is best. Because I know that this is the roughest for you. So do you want to try to go in there by your... Not entirely by yourself, but do you want to take the lead on this? She already knows that someone's here. If I, if I were her, I would wait in the vault until somebody stepped in and clocked them. Okay, um, after hearing that, Starla walks into the vault. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. I would like you to roll take a powerful blow. Yeah, okay, this is what I thought would be happening. All right, okay, so roll. Oh, Can I, I do just a defend? Regular. Not, not from this. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting. Oh, it's, that's just a straight roll. roll conditions. So flat 2d6. Yeah, you can press the conditions button. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's Ooh, I don't have thing. any conditions. Um, do I mark Yeah, but it was a six and a four. No, no, no. You want to fail this roll. You succeeded. Um, oh, no. And that is, that is a full hit, which is the worst possible option. So if you take a powerful blow on a 10 plus, choose one of the following. You must remove yourself from the situation. Flee, pass out, etc. You lose control of yourself or your powers in a terrible fashion. Or you take two options from the 7 to 9 list which are the following. You lash out verbally, provoke a teammate to foolhardy action, or take advantage of your influence to inf inflict a condition. You give ground, your opposition gets an opportunity. You struggle past the bane and mark two conditions. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm probably, um, ooh, uh, um, I'm going to have to go with I lose control of myself or my powers. And I know that I don't have like super that I don't the, none of these options are good. And I don't want to inflict a condition on any of my teammates um, or well, inflict too many conditions on myself. So by all means, we can say that you lose control of your powers if that's what you want to say. If, if none of these options are going to be good. So well, let's, you, you seemed really excited and that makes me want to do it more. So okay. we're going to, we're going to go with that one. Okay. So here's the things, the terrible things that are going to occur. It's not whiplash that hits you. You're stepping into, oh, no. ages, you're stepping into an Aegis vault. Aegis. Oh, the booby traps. Think of shield, but with less qualms and more magical doodads. So, you get zapped. No. Um, and, I mean,. It wouldn't be like your parents when you were really, really young in hopes of raising a, an incredibly powerful supervillain would have you, you know, during your normal inoculations, injecting the stuff that could possibly alter the chemistry of your body that's just been laying around latent for, you know, just the right opportunity to go awry. Um... That's something they wouldn't do. Of course not. They, 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 they. Um, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and so you take one of the big time magical whammies that Aegis has set up here. It's not enough to hit a speedster, but for someone who at this point is mortal it's fast enough and so 
you get hit, you are knocked on your ass. You're not out cold. But all of a sudden, the ground quakes. Pacific Northwest is experiencing a significant earthquake at this point. As something latent in Starla's capabilities has been triggered. Yeah. Ooh, that's fun, though. I mean, that's bad. It's fun. You are underground in a heavily fortified facility that is now experiencing an earthquake. Oh, fuck. We need to get the fuck out of here. Oh, but all those, if those we get people. out of here, guess who can't get out of here? People? The people. And also Whiplash. Hmm. So that was what Starla did. I will let the two of you who have yet to act decide who goes next and what y'all are doing. Hey, um, guys, there's a booby trap. What's happening with you? What the fuck? I have no idea. Um, uh, my parents really suck. Um, oh. so who knows? Okay, new plan. This whole place is gonna is gonna is gonna is gonna is gonna go go down. So Saskia, I need you to go go with mask. Get them out and get as many p p people as you can out. Okay. Um, mm, not leaving you. No, I'm sorry. No, my yeah, life no, is not worth all you. all those pe those pe those pe those pe those people upstairs. Yeah, it well, you're not the me. one that knocked them out, by the way. So you don't need to punish yourself in order to help them. No. Also, if we get the speedy bitch on our side, she can help. Okay. Right. Like, how bad is the earthquake right now? Is this like a little, uh, or is this like a like a full on yo? We need to get the fuck out. Rock or rock, rock, just rocks are everywhere. I'm going to roll the happy sad die. I don't like the happy sad die. I happy sad die happy is sad mean. Die. Honestly, you <laughs> are usually the one that triggers it, so I, know. I understand why you feel that way. <laughs> um, so we got the weakest of sad faces. Okay. We didn't so get a happy not face. The, not the, not the, again, there are two happy faces. One that's a mild happy face and one that's unfortunately happy. Yeah. Uh, then there's the indifferent face. There is the mild sad. There is the super sad. And then there's the angry face. Um, this is the mild sad. Okay. I say you have two villain monologues worth of time. I'm gonna. This place well, that's like twenty minutes. Can I, <laughs> 20 try minutes. To can I try to provoke Whiplash to come out? Can I be like, "Hey, Whiplash"? Well, I was. Let 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 them them. It head up. Oh yeah, they first. need to because yeah. I did them, my thing. Um, I think as I'm like trying to like get Mark into like a safe space that's not boo 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 booby trapped. I'm just going to reach in to my vest and I'm going to pull out my old team's buzzer. Okay. It doesn't work, but it still makes the sound. And I'm going to turn it on. Beep, 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 beep. And I'm going to toss it inside. And I'm just going to stand there and wait. And you just hear very familiar though slightly older voice just cry out what the fuck is going on Clara Scott Whiplash <laughs> and I'm just waiting outside the vault donkey yeah, that's what I was doing. I appreciate you recognizing <laughs> the reference. Y'all yeah, yeah. <laughs> triggered something and I'm stuck. What do you mean you're stuck? Oh shit. 
I'm, I'm like peek stuck. into the vault. I'm gonna peek into the vault. So I am a big fan of Mass Effect, if you didn't know. And uh -huh. one of the most noted things to remember from that series. One was best. Don't at me. Um was Liara in the bubble. Oh. So okay. there you see as you peek in that yes, Whiplash is currently in some form of security stasis bubble. Suspended. Unable to move. Except hmm. for being able to breathe and talk. I whisper to Loki, I know I made a bad decision, but this is good. Well, can they can't breathe, but they, no, can, they can breathe, breathe. and talk. Mm -hmm. This is really good. This is kind of exactly what we needed. I've also got a way to get them out, I think. Okay, yeah. So, Strider, Strider. Mm -hmm. Was this... Need to ask this now. Were you two a thing? Yeah, this does. Honestly, I've been getting weird vibes. I'm yeah. thinking weird vibes. And I kind of, we need to ask if uh, you two were a thing. And I need you to be honest with, can I actually use my influence over Strider <laughs> to get Strider to tell me if they were a thing? Out of all the things to use my influence over, this feels appropriate. Um, <laughs> you can, you can, you can try and assert your influence. Okay. Go, go ahead and because of the stress of the moment, I'm going to have you make a roll, but it's going to be um, just roll flat 2d6. We will add one to this. Okay, cool. Add one as my situational bonus. I, I know how gonna, to do things. I was going to ask, can I do a pierce the mask? In a moment. Uh -huh. Okay. Actually, if we're piercing the mask of um, of um, whiplash, I have a I have a um, move that allows me to ask what your darkest moment was, and I feel like that Ooh. is probably that's something to hold on to. But in this moment, yeah. you so, so my mind has not been on the idea of like <laughs> were they a thing? I haven't even like thought thought. Th thought about that so this is gonna be interesting well because well, i was thinking about like how the fuck are we are we gonna get out of here with everybody clock, clock is ticking and uh -huh. you have a choice to make in this moment you can try to ignore their influence which is its own move uh -huh. you can give them what they want which is the answer uh -huh. or you can do neither of those and take a condition. What do you choose? Um. Sorry, this is like so out of left field. Oh shit. Uh. Can I just say, I love that out of everything that we could do, like, I want to use my influence for this. It's this specific situation. Um. It's great. I mean,. On you know when your ex stumbles the... upon you in an immobilizing bubble while there's an earthquake <laughs> going on? <laughs> um, you know, on a 10 plus, I do get that that follow up question. Okay, you want to use like that hold back? now? <laughs> you want you want to use that hold right now? No, 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 no. no it's fine. Oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, I'm gonna leave this up to the dice. Fuck it. Okay. Wow, leaving romance okay. up to the dice. That's the answer, but I'm gonna see if I think he's gonna take uh <laughs> insecure. Yeah, he's gonna take insecure. Okay, we're just going to take a condition and, and <laughs> yeah. keep a secret. Yeah. You start I know the you. answer, but he's just you, gonna be like <laughs> You hold on to nope. your influence, but it it does not get spent in this moment and yeah. Scott takes yeah. insecure and mm -hmm. does not answer. And, and I'm just gonna say this is not the time for that conversation. Oh, so that's a yes. I wasn't 
I'm not turned to Loki. I'm like, that is definitely like a hard yes. Oh, that 100%. is like I am, that is like 40 chicken nuggets worth of yes. I am just like, gonna lo look around the room and see if there's it, 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 there's any more traps or there's a way to like turn all this off. The oh, only do trap you, do is you this want... line of questioning. I know. <laughs> do you want do you want your girlfriend out of the bubble? Don't do not do that to me right now. I'm, I'm also being Loki, serious. Do you want them we are underground. There is an earthquake. I do not need to deal with this line I mean, of questioning right now. I take it as a compliment. We're clearly both just jealous that you have a girlfriend. Like, good I... for you. Yeah. Um, but seriously, do you want them out of the bubble? I don't or... know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking for traps. I'm looking for I'm looking for traps, DM. I'm looking for traps. <laughs> okay, so you can go ahead and roll me a superior. Okay. Yeah, I <laughs> my powers to extend my senses to see if they were dating. <laughs> I don't think that, that your earthquake powers or your powers of, of archery allow you to, to perceive this in such a manner. Oh, um, I don't but, either. I'm just being you know, a little go ahead, shit. Mark potential strider. Um, oh, that's uh -huh. true. You, you do not. It looks clear. My uh -huh. favorite okay. phrase. Okay. I have, I'm gonna I have look, a question. Sorry. I'm gonna look up to Wed to Whiplash and just be like, "We both got questions. Right now, we need to get the fuck out of here. Are there any traps that you know of?" Most of the floor is pressure sensitive, as well as these cells. Okay, what, 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 the what, what about the walls? Walls, for the most part, are clear as long as you're not using any sort of magical device. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Um, I'm going to take my shield, like grappling hook i'm gonna shoot at the far wall and i want to take the end of it and like put put it up against like the vault door okay. like to where it's tied okay i'm gonna try to get you out of here and i'm going to jump onto the rope and start to like gymna gymna gymnastics my way over there you're going to need a lot a lot more speed than that. Yeah. This is an inertial damper. Yeah, okay. We'll look to low to low to low to low to Loki. Don't suppose you can get them out of there from there? I have two I have two things. One possibly. Um two since Loki is all about the magic, and the earthquake started right after the mark was hit. Mm -hmm. Would Loki recognize it as potentially something magical to do with the mark now? Um, go ahead and roll me freak and we'll see what you sense. Okay. My bullshit senses are tingling. Let's, let's see how much they tingle. Yeah. Full hit. Okay, so full oh, hit. Oh, wow. Yeah. 13. Um, <clears throat> like, again, setting you off a trap in the Aegis Fault probably got hit with something that is supposed to put out someone with powers, but with someone who has some form of latency, yeah, that's where, that's where pans out is po a possible trigger. That bad news is um starla whatever's been triggered probably does not have conscious control over what's going on i knew i needed to stop repressing my feelings um so my actual plan for getting um whiplash out of the bubble is to use my flare snatch okay because 
Okay, I'm I'm messing with a bit of the wording. So I can use my powers to seize any one object up to the size of a person from someone within view. So I was basically as can I treat it like um Whiplash is the object stealing it from the bubble? Now, here's an interesting thing. Burn usually just lets you do the thing. Since this isn't precisely the wording, here's what we're going to do. You can use this burn, and yes, Whiplash will be freed the bubble. But we will see the ramifications of that by having you make a freak roll. Okay. You still want to do it? Okay, so little heads up. This might go, shit might go sideways. I'll get you out of the bubble. Am I good to go, Scott? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go. <laughs> Okay, let's see that freak roll. Don't fuck me, roll 20. Yes! It didn't. It was thinking about it, but it, it didn't. About it. <laughs> it considered it. So, you, you focus your magical powers and essentially thread a needle through all these Aegis defenses and grab hold of Whiplash and just yank her with some velocity out of the Aegis Vault. Holy shit. Why'd I imagine that they've just like proper hit Loki and the two of them are just flat on their backs? No, no, no. It, it, it's that moment of yep, and you're almost nose to nose. Oh, okay. Hey, Strider, better get, better get your girl. Do not do this to me right now. Strider. Mark, do not do this to me right now. I I hate to say it, Strider. I'm not trying to fire into your girl. Yeah, uh, this is a little awkward. Um, but we can't focus on this right now. So you're gonna have to put your jealous feelings aside and we're just gonna have to move past this. Yeah. Um I Whiplash, can you help us get the people out of here? Because um Pope help me. Pope help me. Oh, oh, help me. <laughs> the earthquakes. Rocks are... fall. Everyone dies. Save me from this. <laughs> the earthquakes are coming from Starla, and Starla can't control them. So let's get um, Earthquake Girl. Wait, I'm sorry. The earthquakes and... are coming from me? It's a whole thing. I'll talk to you in a bit. Um, okay. Could just say you rock my world. It's fine. And... Okay. <laughs> Did this turn into a game of Monster Heart suddenly? Yes. <laughs> Not yet, but it's spearing that way. <laughs> um, I guess while well, they're doing stuff, um, Scott's going to look at Whiplash and is going to remove the mask. Glad you're okay. We obviously do not have time. We need to yeah. leave. Yeah. I need you to come with us. We'll see about that. Um, can I try... Um, can I say... Well, I'll just say it. Um, Whiplash? You, you have to come with us. Like, if I know that you've been working with my parents, and if you want a chance to maybe do some good again, you need to come with us. Wait, your parents? What? This feels like a provoke, so go hmm. ahead and roll superior. There, Starla. I'm not very superior anymore. Oh God! Oh, they okay. This these rolls really want to get me to that moment of truth. Uh, okay, so mark potential. Mm. 
You have the keys to the kingdom and you decide to leave the family. I don't need to hear anything from you. I don't need a kingdom that has nothing to offer me. It doesn't have anything to offer you either. I will put you back in that bubble. We need to go. We need to make sure that the people who are still in this build, this build, this building are safe. Well, if it has, if, if the power is based in me, if it's me that's doing it, maybe if I leave this facility, it will stop its effect on the facility. <laughs> I don't know anything about magic. I don't have it. I don't understand why you think that it has to do with me. I'm, because this is bad. The earthquake started Rumbling. right after you got hit by something that's supposed to stop magic. I'm really glad I didn't go in that. Anyway. Um, we need to we need to book it. Just whiplash? Start running. Help us get the people out that you didn't kill. Or I am throwing you back into a bubble like that. I, I don't care anymore. I honestly I would listen. I would listen um to them because even if they don't put you in a bubble, they might accidentally send you into another dimension. So either way, you kind of don't want them to try. <laughs> run um and she's off like a dart oh, um okay. before well, she I'm gets gonna... before she runs off um scott's going to try to put a hand on her shoulder sh 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 shoulder and just going to say we do need to talk and on one of the fingers a little tracker is going to go on the little little suit that she's got. Okay. Um, because this is a level of subtlety. Yeah. Um, but also like using appeal. This is this feels like a mundane role. So go ahead okay. and roll mundane. I'm not very good at mundane. But can I use team for this? Mm, not in this case. But okay. I will let you use one of the plus one forwards you've got, so you can add okay. on to this. Okay. Hey, it's a hit. So the tracker will hold on temporarily. Okay. Right. So in in but a a quick quick moment. Uh, you place a hand on her shoulder, and then that shoulder is gone. As whiplash barrels through this facility. What are y'all doing? Is the wall still up? Um. Yeah. Currently, mm -hmm. uh, Loki still has the barrier mm -hmm. in play. I haven't heard Loki lower it. Mm -hmm. Loki. Till we get people out, I'm gonna need need you to hold that barrier. I wasn't planning on dropping it. I was just going to... At most, I was going to make another one further out and make her think that she got away, but... I'm going to start picking up unconscious guards then and run into the um, front. You are going and you can't find any guards. Oh, what well, Flash took them out. That was a good decision, if that's what happened. Maybe she does still care. Well, it's from she the really front, doesn't then. want them to be dead. Yeah. We should also probably get out. All right. We go, we go back to the front doors. And there you see Whiplash with a bunch of guards just outside the barrier as they've been yeeted. Mm-hmm. So you mind dropping whatever it is that's keeping me in the building that is falling down around us? Um, Loki will drop before they hey, drop. Loki, why don't you just um loosen the leash a bit, if you know what I mean? Yeah, they were. They're gonna make a 
barrier further out okay. and like drop that one. But the, the barrier further out, they're going to make it invisible so that if they try and run, they're just going to like hit the barrier. Okay. So you use your burn. You drop the current one. They they bolt again. Um, now, Starla, give me a freak roll, please. Freak roll? I have negative one to freak. <laughs> We're super freak, super freak, super, super freak. freaky. Super freaky. Okay. You have a choice to make. So you can temporarily settle the earthquake. But it will come back with a vengeance later. Or you can let the current quake run its full course. Um, do I have an idea that if I let this current quake run its, run its full force, anyone's going to get hurt? Oh, well, there's likely already people hurt. Um, really, this is an earthquake I, that's I, hit like the whole pac like, pac like Pacific. Thing? But earthquakes aren't tiny events; they yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. they hit for miles. Um, um, I think, I guess, I will. I'll let it come back later. Because I think that right now it's really bad to have it going. Okay. We'll put a pin in that. So. Thanks for to settle down. Hmm. Emergency services, you can hear sirens in the distance. They're headed to the facility. I'm going to check my tracker. And I'm going to go in the direction where it's pinging from. It's going all over the place as Whiplash is checking this new mm -hmm. greater barrier all over mm -hmm. for any weakness. Watch the look, he's back just in case. Yeah, same. Eventually, mm. she'll get tired and she'll come back and, mm. you know, talk with us. Mm. Um, I guess I'm going to try to provoke. Switzerland. Oh. Switzerland's in the other the other city. Yeah. Oh. I'm going right. to ra ra radio rune and say. You made contact with Whiplash. Just stand by. Be careful. Standing yeah. by. I'm going to try to provoke Whiplash into stopping or trying to have some conversation. Um, and I'm going to say... Look, I don't know what's going to happen in the next few days. So if you run, we can't have a conversation. And I know you, you don't run from hard things. I will. Go ahead and roll superior. And Loki, shout out to Whiplash as well. Let's first see how, how this affects Whiplash. Eight. Okay, eight. So that's not a full. So yeah. I get to choose off the menu this time. Okay. So either they stumble, they err, or they overreact. I think they err. So they don't come to you to talk. 
instead you 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 feel that that gust of wind and you see them hesitate as it looks like they're about to possibly cl clock Loki across the back of the head. Mm -hmm. So in this moment, one of you can act. My instinct is to try to defend, but I don't, if Strider, if you want to do it, I don't want to take that away from you. Yeah, I want to try to defend Loki. Okay, roll savior. Is this a powerful blow or anything? Or is this just a... Uh... Yeah, this is a powerful blow, uh, okay. but you're run but what you're rolling is savior. You're, you're okay. going to defend. Gotcha. Do they have never give up, never surrender? But yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead. I'm defend. So you stand strong in the face of adversity. Please describe how you stop whiplash. I think what I'm going to do is when I see, like, the spot that, like, she almost hit Loki at, I know she likes to try to go to a certain spot again and again to try, try to, you know, hit the weak point. I think Strider is just going to stand in front and have his arms out. I'm not going to fight you. You're my best friend. Whisper to Loki. Girlfriend. Absolutely. Absolutely girlfriend, for sure. From hollering from a good distance away, after a moment where, like, Fist is moving to, to, to hit Loki, and then you're just right there, Mm -hmm. And then there's this gust of wind, and then you just, you all can hear. Damn it, Scott, we don't have time for this right now. Might not have time later. None of us really have any good time because time is being really fucked up right now. So. Um, I think that you kind of need to tell us what you're up to, to be honest. What do you know? We're trying to stop this, whatever's going on. There is a marked stillness to the air. Laura, I answer. Because I'll pierce the mask if I have to. You know, Strider might not fight you, but I will if I have to. This, this, this world. Our world is in ruins right now. Time is collapsing, and you're sitting here and you don't want to talk to us. Why? I've been where you've been, okay? Especially working for the corporation, being on the side of the supervillains. You don't trust anyone. You don't think anyone is to be trusted. You think you know best. You think you work alone. You're wrong. If I grew up being trained by some of those powerful supervillains and then realized that being a supervillain was never going to be as strong as being a superhero on a team, then you, someone who has been a superhero on a team, should be, see how stupid you're being right now. It doesn't make any sense. And there's just a lot of quiet. Laura, I... We need your help. 
I need your help. And I'm going to ask something, actually, okay. from that bit reading the fa the fa the fa the fa the fa the fa the files. Did she know that I was back? Like, does the look on her face seem, seem like pure shock that, oh shit, you know, Strider is back, or is it just like a, oh shit, he's found me? Like, it was a mi mixture of this was a possibility, mm -hmm. but I wasn't certain about it. So she knew it was a possibility that you could return, but she wasn't certain it was had happened. It's me, Clara. It's not it's not a clone, it's not a robot. It's me. And I know it's you. No, this entire. We're so close. We're so damn close. I can't stop now, Scott. Realize Wiley's going. Why? Why are you doing this with them? You know that they're. I've been gone ten years, and I don't know what's happened to you, but I know that this isn't you. You're back because we're so damn close, Scott. Please let me finish this. Are you doing this because of me? Answer me. Oh, 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 oh. Honestly, Leon, that. Don't lie to me after all this. Are you doing this because of you? Yes. But you're not the only one that will get something out of this. I'm not the only one that gets something out of this. I, I know your powers have been bad. We can fix it, but I need your help. If we, if the plan that you are working for goes off, we might not even exist anymore. This whole world will be gone and changed into something or destroyed. I don't know. I need my team. I need my friend right now. Go ahead and roll superior again. This time with a plus one. Oh, gosh. Twelve. There's a gust of wind, and she is standing in front of you. She's not crying yet, but the eyes are very welled up. Strider steps away from Loki and gives her a hug. Just says, I missed you so much. It's two beats as like you, you, you hug her and it's like these muscles have have made out of stone. And then eventually she softens a bit and hugs you back. And the tears start falling and it's this weird sensation of this is my friend, but this is also 
a broken woman who I don't know at the same time. He doesn't say anything. But I think after the hug is done, he looks to her and says, I'm sorry to get all business on you like this, but what were you here for? There's no piece of pre-Great War tech that the Ages Vault had. Some curio while they wanted that would could destabilize and stabilize timeline. So it can temporarily cause things to shift greater out of phase but before everything collapse, set it back into a new phase. He wants to restructure time itself? Or am I misunderstanding? Seems like it. The only way to rob someone from death is to do something very elaborate. Who's dead? Well, number of individuals. Laura, we need his files. And we know that you took them. You don't need the files. You just... You just need to get the devices... Can you show us where they are? I hid one in plain sight. It's... It was the only way I could make certain that if your mentor decided to pull herself out of her depression, she wouldn't find it if it was right under her nose. She wouldn't think of it. So, in the old safe house Bailey would use to meet with us, not at the base. It's right there. It's, it's, it's a small device hidden in the love seat. She never did check the couch cushions. Okay. Two others just... are back at the Wiley's base, first floor. And the last one, the one Wiley planned on you phasing out. That one's... That one got phased out to the moment right when you disappeared. I'm sorry for that, by the way. I wish I had been there with y'all. Ryder, it's not like your fault that it's not like it's your fault that you disappeared. You gotta stop blaming yourself for that. Oh, tell that to the guilt. Um, I'm gonna need need you to come with us. Oh, for sure. Your ass. Um. Oh, sorry, go on, Pooh. He just says you're asking a lot of me. 
you know. But as your team leader, I expect a lot out of you. Especially when the world is ending. Sometimes we gotta give a lot. Please. You're gonna say something like you? <laughs> you did. I cannot hear your voice. I think it might be the mic or something yeah. to do with the input. Oh, no. Well, this is almost there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Is that better? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Um, you do realize you're are going to have to do this without Wiley now? What happened to Wiley? He pissed me off a bit too much. I wasn't joking there... when I said you don't want Loki to try to do anything. Yeah. Um, I think... I'm not entirely sure, but I think he's in... the face on our court. We ain't getting him back. And I don't actually want to get him back. No offense, but you kind of kept shitty company. Yeah. Jo but no judgment, I've been there. Like you can see like the body stiffening as there's a lot of anger and frustration in this moment. I'm a, a hand on her back. And I'm going to say, I know that you're angry, I know that you're hurt. You can take this one step at a time, okay? Get you to the pieces with the exception of the time. Even my power set can handle that. Okay, it's fair. It was the time one the one that Safe and Sound tried to steal? certain that you guys would engage and planned on you using your powers that it was going by. Cool. So you're the reason that I'm now blaming myself for him going missing. And Wait, what? In the you do realize we don't exactly want to leave. Like, we don't want to lose Strider either. But we're willing, we want to set this right. And we're willing to lose our friend to send him back to the time that he belongs in. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I... We have to send everyone back, Strider. Ryder, if we send you back, if we send you back, I don't want to do it either, okay? If I send Strider back, there's a lot that could change for me too, all right? But I am a hero now, and it means I don't get to be selfish anymore. And Strider, if we send you back, you get your original team back. 
and you guys will be together again. And it also means that a bunch of people won't like, I don't know, the timeline won't collapse, which just seems bad all around. I'll focus on getting the time device back. We're only going to agree to this if we can make sure that y'all will be okay. We might not be the same after this. The, t- I... the timeline oh, no. that brought us to where we are now won't exist. You'll be living your normal life, the life that you're supposed to live. For me, I just kind of have to trust that I'm going to head in the right direction no matter what. One step at a time. Cross those bridges when we get to them. And those bridges when we get there. Yep. So. Turn the page. We see a number of things begin to happen. Uh, We see a very tense reunion between Rune and Whiplash. As Rune teleports you back to the Empire State. The two of them. Just Whiplash, see, see Rune? Like, the two of them say pretty much nothing to one another and just stare daggers the entire time. Oh, now this, this Uh. is sexual Mm. tension. This is it. No, this this is a combination of pure hate and loathing. Uh, Yeah, that's sexual tension. Yeah, enemies to lovers, the best trope. (laughs) Friends to enemies to lovers? Are you kidding me? I'm just looking at the two, the two of them, just like, you know, if you stare at each other long, 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 longer, I'm sure that you will burn holes into re, re, real, 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 reality itself, so. Like, I know you guys are old, but you know that we have these things called cameras? Like, you can take photos rather than just, like, glare. Or you could have a conversation. Mm, that works too. Rune just quietly to the side. Your kids and your concepts of technology working with all forms of magic. Oh, so didn't your laptop like idea. blow up a whole, a whole, a whole, whole, whole bunch about ten year, ten year, ten year, ten year, ten year, ten year. Ten year, ten years ago, T T T uh T T T Res. Yes. So much, so often that Jessamine made it so that I was not allowed near even the coffee maker. Have we filled Rune in on the situation and our plan? Mm-hmm. You, you've. I'm going to say you've left strategic details out, but for the most mm-hmm. part, yes. <laughs> he, he is on board. He just, it is obvious that this is a man who has given a lot of thought about the opportunity to get revenge. Mm-hmm. And it is taking all of his will not to tear apart Whiplash at the molecular level with his mind. There's some people I would rip apart molecule by molecule too, so. Don't think too hard about that. You may actually Uh, do it. Okay, yeah. So. Just saying. What? Magic's fucky. (laughs) Oh, trust me. I know you. I know that. Um. 
Okay. I, I won't think too hard about it, mostly because it's never been very good for my mental health. Um, we we got to get started on this. We've got to get those devices. Oh. And you, you head to the safe house. Mm-hmm. And right where the flesh said is a small, looks almost like a fidget cube. But if it was made by Stark, um, like Stark level tech, so everything is chrome plated um, and overly elaborate. Arun, I take it if I play hacky sack with this, it's going to go boom, right? That, that, that is something that should have never been created. And honestly, I'm upset that it even exists. Uh, but yeah, don't kick it. it. Smells like raspberry. I don't think it's edible. Yeah. But you probably like it. it. I'm not gonna lick the the machine that defies all logic and re and re and re and re and re and re sorry and re and re and re and re and reason. Hey, if we're defying logic and reason, why not lick it? Yeah, you lick it as yours. I'm gonna look to the the adults in the group. What are they doing with this? Because <laughs> Rude is just like, don't look, lick it, and and whip, Whiplash is just giving Loki and Layla that that adult stare. That's just like, I I cannot fathom the stupidity. <laughs> Hey, when you this gotta happens, be smart to be stupid sometimes. So I guess mm-hmm. you're not smart. Hey, Whiplash, how does it feel knowing that we're the ones that fucked up all your plans? Yeah, how does it feel? Do not that you start suck? a fight in a safe house, please. <laughs> hey, I mean... listen, I'm not the one who was given little looks like that. Okay, all I said was I was trying to support my friend. Because my friend was like, hey, this kind of smells like raspberries. And he clearly wanted to know if it tasted like raspberries. So I told him that he could probably lick it. So you don't need to look at me like that. I'm just here for the drama. I'm going to pocket this. He's going to think about trying to take a a taste, but he's not going to. He's going to put it in a pouch. So you, you that's good. It, Save it for later. Yeah. It's like lined with lead, so it's like radioactive protection. I don't know. And Look, so, this thing could cause a, a cancer for all I know. And so we turn the page and we're back um, at Tunguska. Mm-hmm. At the Bureau of Observation base that is now it could be more on fire. Um, <laughs> oh, the things I've done and the places I've been. <laughs> it, it is not a pleasant place to be. We gotta find this thing. Whiplash, where did you put it? The two devices were left in Wiley's main lab it's on the second subfloor. Right. Know that you want to kill each other, each other right now, but could you let Rune get a mind's eye view of what this is so he can teleport in? Appreciate it. Thank you. Rune does the mental scan, but then gets a look of consternation. Yeah, there's no teleporting to that. Why? What's wrong? You 
one of the devices is highly volatile in the presence of magicians. It is liable to react in said violent manner should I get close. Or you, looking for Loki. Oh, am I technically a magician now? I don't feel like a magician. Mm. Let's let's keep you away just in case. Oh, so the only ones who can go into this room are me and Whiplash. So we're gonna set a timer. Okay. Please be back before ten minutes. I'll I'll Five try. Minutes. Like even runes agreeing, like yeah. <laughs> Wait. So now look, we can test out like, if I can get some control over this earthquake thing. Maybe not now. Not here. Um, why do we need a timer? Uh, just, we just, don't fully trust. I don't know, think we fully trust Whiplash yet. It's, it's less that it's more that I can sense that there's a lot of rather unfortunate things that are here. Do not. Mm. Okay. Okay. This is the place you released everything? Um, yeah, this is the mm. place where I released everything. But it was Wiley's lab, so I did like, kind of fuck up his plans a bit, maybe. Oh, definitely. Where is the other thing? And can the magic -y people go for that one? I'm one. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be a me thing. That's going to be a drop off for sure. Whiplash. <sighs> right. Come on, it'll be like old times. It just grumbles as um, you both head in. And so it's like a series of of bombs and cross cross venue cross crossover events have all happened in this tiny tiny base yeah <laughs> looking fucked up right now okay as we're kind of moving around any trap she knows about or trying to step over things i'm just gonna be like so Every trap has been sprung. Oh. It, it it is a like this place is a a different level of mess. Okay. Than you have gotcha. ever experienced. Gosh, so we are climbing over things. Gotcha. Okay. Um rubble, corpses, things that might be corpses, things that might be rubble, things that may have been building parts or or some sort of parts experiment death yeah. laser yeah there's, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. it's a it's it's bad it's bad it's a lot i'm just gonna he's gonna try to make some small talk um because he's because <laughs> he doesn't want to like focus on the bot the, the bot you know the dead people um it's like so super villain huh You kept your name, though. It worked. Yeah. It's kind of apt. Jess was right about one thing. Branding matters. You never were much one for uh, branding. No. And while this very unfortunate mm -hmm. conversation is happening, mm -hmm. Starla. Oh, no. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. I felt it in my bones. You get a call. Oh. This oh. is not what I thought it was going to be. Oh, but it it's might end like, up being what I thought it was going to be. Okay. 
you know what? Let's stop guessing and let's start experiencing. I get a call. I answer it. I go, is it in this? Is it in my little tiny communicator? No, no, or am I just my regular cell phone? phone? Hello? Hello, Starla. It's Uncle Joffrey. Oh. Hey. Um, I think you have the wrong number. I... <laughs> <laughs> Always the kid. Um, so, I've been noticing some strange activity happening at, you know, a multiversal level. And it also seems... Me too. Like... It's been weird. Mm-hmm. And um, so I also got a call from one of my ages contacts and your mother. Um, yeah, how's uh, how is um, how is old mama? Um, she's in the mood, she always is he, indeed. But, um, so I know you're not necessarily the fondest of us at this moment, especially your parents. Um, but we need to have a conversation about what it is you can do now. Yeah, you know. I think that conversation would have been really nice, like, um, like way before now, like super way before now, like uh, incredibly before now. I, I firmly agree. Um, I also firmly agree that, you know, you should um, play with both magic and genetics. That's usually just a bad idea in general. Um, but right now it, it, it looks like no one listens to me but i would like to be listened to in this moment <laughs> so you want me to have a conversation with you about what i can do uh yes considering that i can already see your handiwork without any form of instruction and that could be bad for seaboards so yeah, I like the beach, but not enough to turn the world into a beach. So yes, precisely. So um, about that, I know you're probably busy, but could you know we see each other soon, ish? Um, give me a second. I'm going to move John hold for a second. And then like Taylor Swift plays as it's on hold. Um, that's my hold music. I don't know if you can change it in your phone, but we're going to pretend in this universe you can. Um, hey, Loki. Yep. Someone wants to have a conversation with me right now. How likely is it that you could teleport them here so we could have a conversation with them right now? And also I don't trust them, so I don't want to go to any of their locations. So like, and also there are cells here, so I could just lock them in a cell if I wanted to, I guess. Um, I mean, it's possible. Wiley had labs. I have, I might need to do something first. But it should be possible. Um, Want to try? Yeah. Uh, let. I'd like to try. I'd like to see if I can find something first, if that's possible. Yeah, Give no me... problem. They're on hold. They can wait. Okay. Um. So in Wiley's labs, did he have any notes? Because all good scientists keep very good records. Who would have to get in there? Mm, this is going to be a bad life choice. Uh, Loki's going to go and try and get in. 
to try and find anything that would work for them for like any notes that he has especially on like both time and dimensional travel okay we can do this there are going to be a series of tests okay this can go very wrong oh yeah Okay. Just just so we're everyone's informed. Um so you head into the smoldering crater that is the facility whilst Scott Whiplash are trying to to get to these two devices through a mostly broken facility. And you were trying to get directly to Wiley's lab where he kept notes on time and space. Yep. So, uh, and as Loki goes in, they're gonna like quickly. S- Scott, I'm yeah. doing. A, I'm making bad life choices. Usual. Uh, what does that mean? Um, I'm. I need to try and find some stuff in the labs. Um. Can it wait until we're done in here? Not really. It may be the only way we can get the time device. I would prefer that you not, but if that's the decision that you need to make, then I will deal with the fallout. Thanks for letting me know. I don't want to risk anyone else. Okay. And now we go for fun. Okay. So first, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll get to you in a second. Oh uh, no. <laughs> so first, I'm going to need you to roll superior for me. There, Loki. Uh, see how much of a head your your head's on the swivel. Okay. So one of the things that I love to do as the STs beg, borrow, and steal from other games. Mm-hmm. One of my favorites is the threat clock system from Blades of the Dark. That is one tick on, as that wasn't the full hit. So oh. the threat clock has been activated. Okay. So. Now, let's see if you trigger the next tick. I want you to roll mundane. <laughs> but that isn't that your best, isn't that your best ability? Well, isn't that your best label? Well, good news is mark potential. I've unlocked oh. my next. I've unlocked that, my five. Bad news is what, a zero. Yeah. <laughs> I have a minus four to mundane right now. Two ticks on the threat clock. So technically it was a negative one. And now I'd like you to roll danger, please. I'm good at that one. I've just fucked myself. Or not. Okay. So. There's no middle ground when it comes to Loki. <laughs> it's either <laughs> really good or we're fucked. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, it's honestly very in character. Your roles are always in character. Loki is literally good at danger, good at freak, and shit at everything else. And now, last, but probably least, is Savior. <laughs> oh, fuck. How? How? Oh, I had a minus two. Okay. So Oopsies. threat clock filled up. Oh no. So we see these in, in the, the comic book panels. Is we, we see Loki head into the, the smoldering rooms of the facility. We we see them going through the rubble, avoiding threats as best they can. And we see them eventually ending up in Loki in Wiley's lab. And they're 
immediately trying to find <clears throat> whatever notes Wiley possessed on time and space. And as Loki knows that the, the, the clock is ticking on this, we see them rifling through these drawers and pulls open one filled with black roses. And that's when we're going to turn the page. He knew. He fucking knew. Um, I don't know if we're going directly into Strider's scene, but yeah, I should we're... probably also at some point actually talk to my uncle about what he actually wants. Well, we'll, we'll get to that in a second as Strider. Um, the painful small talk is quite painful. Almost as painful as having to squeeze through places that have been obviously melted by something. Yeah. We don't know what, but melted. Um exploded lit on fire mm -hmm. sublimated that's a new one um and just in general destroyed to where eventually the two of you get to the storage facility or wiley's hall of devices as it were and you managed to find these two key items. One is a small sphere uh -huh. studded with cabochons ruby. And it looks to be some sort of elaborate puzzle box. And the the other is bizarre. It looks like a 1998 gateway laptop, like one of those giant brick deals. Um, that... Hey, Rune, I found you a spare laptop in case you need it. Funny. That thing can, can rend realities asunder with the wrong keystroke. Be careful with it. Gotcha. So I shouldn't try to make my best selling no 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 novel on it heard. Yeah, no, there's th this thing is a, a a curio on the worst level. This thing can just don't mess with it and don't make it angry and don't drop it. Hey. Clara, do you um know if these are like booby trapped? While he had confidence in his other security measures, they're fine. Wow. So we gotta pick them up. Guess I'll pick them both and uh stow them away on my person. So you you now have these retrieved and are starting to move back out of the facility. Mm -hmm. Put a pin in that. Mm -hmm. So Starla, do you decide to take your uncle off hold? Yeah, I'm like, hey, hey, Geoffrey. Um, I have I I have a question. Um. So my parents decided to try to give me magical powers. Great. Did they know what kind they were giving me? Like, what? what's the deal here? No, they just... They were throwing stuff to the wall to see what sticked? Yes. In my body? So. Y yes. Great. Good to know. Honestly, in character. Have they done it with Ava? My sister. Have they done it with my sister? I don't know for certain, but I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Do you know where my sister is? Last I heard, your, your sister was... Wrong communicator. 
was in Sunset City on a job. Okay. I'm gonna have to call. I'm gonna call you back when we can get you here. Uh, I need to call my. Well, I'm sorry. You don't like being put on hold. You know what? I don't like. I don't like things being put into my body that I didn't ask to be put into my body, and then ha suddenly having earthquakes happen. That's what I don't like. And then I hang up. Um. <laughs> I would. Like and then you I call my sister. Oh, okay. Fuck. Yes, I can do that. Hey, I have, I have pretty okay mundane. Ooh, no, not enough, though. At least I have full potential now. Yes, but in that elevated emotional state, the earthquake happens again. Over this facility. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is definitely me. Like, this is definitely uh... me, and I don't like it. I don't uh, like it. I run into the building because I'm like, I got to help people get out. <laughs> <laughs> How much can you do wrong in one so much, scene? So much wrong. Uh, okay. So we see Starla run into the building as the earth quakes a second time. This time, it's even worse. Oh um, no, all the people in town. Fuck. Okay. Um, uh, so, Loki, you are staring at so many black roses. I'm gonna push that closed and not touch any of them. Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, it, just it was a trap. Of course it was. As... Some individual pops back into view. Good news, it isn't an avatar of consumption. That's the best news I can say at this point. As the earth rumbles. And this facility is not long for this world. But in some ways, neither are you. As you come face to face with one of entropies, guardians. So consumption is a manifestation of entropy high-tier cosmic level threat. Entropy's essentially granddad? And you are face-to-face -face with one of its guardians. Well, I wasn't expecting you this early. We can always make exceptions. I mean, time's pretty fucked right now. Let's say. I'm listening. What if I fix it? Put things back. I don't care what happens to me. If you fix it, little mageling, then our meeting today never happened. That's I'll true. give you one hour. Got it. Good luck getting out. As it just steps into the shadows, disappears. Meanwhile, the facility is crumbling around you. Loki's gonna hit the communicator. 
fucked up. Don't... I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. It is cool. Don't worry about me. Hey. Don't try and come for me. What are you talking about? Hey, I'll get I... you guys back at the base. I don't know how I feel about that at all. Can I ask you something before I agree to this? Is it worse for you if we come and try and get you? Probably. Well, okay. I seem to recall that the last time we went into a closed building as he's like trying trying to dodge like rock like rock like rock like rocks and shit. Um your words to me were we're not gonna leave you behind, and I don't intend to leave you behind. Saskia. Yeah, I did run into this crumbling building to try and help save you, and I would like to continue doing that. I'm gonna Where look I'm to win. I can't take you guys. We're gonna go to the same place then. Um, Clara, you... I need you to get to her. Or to them, sorry. Not making things easy on me. Just go. I'll be fine. Go. Now I'm going to have to roll for her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's not great. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm happy, sad. I just see what happens. Oh, that's not great. Okay, so here's what we see happen. We see Whiplash move with incredible speed and manages to find Loki. You are in a room on fire, crumbling around you, and the next minute you're outside. Starla, you are moving in. Next thing you know, you are moving away from the facility. Uh -huh. And then Scott. Yeah. She doesn't get me, does she? You know, you just hear, I'm sorry. As you feel something you haven't felt in over 10 years. Or use her power to fling you. No, 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 no. Clara! And the facility crumbles in a fiery pit. No, 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 no. There is gone. How far away are we from this? You are about a quarter mile. I'm just screaming and I start to run back. Loki grabs Scott to stop them. Yeah, I He's gonna fight do. it. He's gonna fight it. He's um, just screaming. Scott? Try it. There's nothing we can do about this now. Let me go, let me go, I can get her. No. No, you can't. None of this will have happened if we fix this. If you go in there, all of this happens. If you die, we can't fix this. No. You may have just made a promise with a cosmic entity that I'm gonna fix this, and they gave me a time limit. So, I've got an hour to get into the past and then get back here. Under an hour. He, he is not listening to y'all. He is just trying to tear himself away from y'all at this, mo this, mo this moment. Um, now can I try to use my influence over Strider again? Yep, yep, yep. you can certainly do. Um... Yeah, and I roll I guess I will... something, or I don't. Um, go ahead, roll a 
2d6 plus one. 2d6 plus one, got it. Oh, I didn't Nine. do the plus one, but it's 12 anyway. Mm-hmm. I will try to reject. Okay. So with- No, still, points, yeah. Um, not, not quite enough. No. So go ahead, Starla, up. You, your influence is expended. So you no longer have influence over Strider. However, Starla's words hit home that if any of this is going to have any meaning or any chance to set things right, you have to live. And that sacrifice hopefully will not have been in vain. So whatever happens next, you have to face it with your team. Better when your team lost you, it tore them apart. I know losing Clara is hard, but you have to stay strong. We need you too. Where the fuck is Wiley? Still likely in the Feywild. Now, you're not allowed to go all villain on us. No, no, Strider is not going to go all villain. Maybe a little bit angry justice, but not villain for sure. DM, from what we know, do we need Wiley for this to fix everything? No, but if you involve him, you might cause things to go awry. We got what we needed. I showed the the team the the things yeah. that we Black got. Top end, you have the puzzle box. Yeah. Look to Loki. It's all up to you now. Loki, when you do this, that's going to be it, right? This timeline. As far as we know, it's going to shift forever. Hopefully. Um, well, if that's true, I don't know. No matter whatever happens, I'm glad I met you guys at least in one timeline. I have to go back. I'll find you both. Maybe 10 years and... Maybe nice to be my own mentor. All right, Loki. It's your show now. Uh so in all of the, the shit show that was all those roles, Loki hit their full potential and then over. Um and for that full potential they are taking their uh, moment of truth. So then they can focus. So for our audience, one of the reasons I I fell in love with masks is this mechanic. And we are going to enjoy and respect the words of the authors here. As for these moments of truth for the Nova. It states, your mind's eye opens and you can see the world around you like never before. You can control it at will with ease. Of course, warping reality tends to have ramifications down the line, but in your moment of godhood, who could you possibly be worried? How could you possibly be worried? So, Loki, please describe what happens next. Um, so, Loki hugs Strider, hugs the mark, and looks at him and is like, 
let's let's fix the timeline. <laughs> and fix the timeline. Yeah. Whatever happens. Uh they're Y'all gonna... were a great team. You were a great leader. Come find us ten years in the future. Well, we might we might need a mentor. Especially if I have that. this earthquake stuff going on. Besides, <laughs> as much as I've learned for y'all, a little chaos sometimes is makes things interesting. And I mean we can teach the pizza possum again. Um, it's true. And not to not to steal Loki's thunder. <laughs> <laughs> but I think in this moment of like a pure selfless act of like trust of like trusting that everything's going to be okay. I have reached my full potential in this episode. So I think Starlo probably also unlocks their moment of truth. Mm -hmm. So and I'll save I've... mine for later. I think. I think that's a good call. So here's what I'd like to have happen since we're having multiple moments of truth. So, Loki, I, first I want you to describe what you do. And then from there, I want to hear, Starla, how you manipulate the objects on this part of the timeline to aid Loki. You mean like physically or like what energy I put into them or? However, again, moments of truth are where you get to narrate. Okay. So you can, this- And will, it's three will, objects, right? It is the the three objects, yeah. The, okay. The little, the, little, the little one that smells of raspberries, the, the laptop and the puzzle box. But we'll get that to that Amazing. in a moment. First, Loki, what happens? Um, so Loki's gonna like close their eyes for a second and then like from their hands their magic is going to like spread out but as they're doing this they're also letting the others see how they see the world so like for them it's almost like the aurora borealis is surrounding them in like all these different colors and um there's a there's a moment where Loki's there, but they're also just like a silhouette of themselves, and that's when they're going back, um, and um, they're just letting the others see everything, like all of the magic surrounding them constantly, uh, the way that it all flows together so effortlessly, and. Um, they jump back, they find the item, and uh, when they come back they're just holding it out, uh, and I imagine that like their eyes end up glowing uh, white, and they're just holding it out to Starla with a small smirk, just like we've got this so in this moment where you have ripped through time and space to you got to see the moment that sort of triggered everything where the moment right before scott blinked out of time and space and popped forward seeing the team seeing the villains seeing everything in that moment and the one thing that was not supposed to be there this device and you have brought it back here now starla how do you manipulate these to fix it i think that starla looks at these three objects and like something just clicks and well, first of all, she licks the raspberry one. Um, but second of all, just a little bit, just a little. Um, but also <laughs> she, they realize 
all of these actually fit together and like actually puts them together um, and is looking at them and is like, these are more powerful together than they are apart. Um, and like the metaphor of course of the team is stronger together than it is apart. And it's like all of it clicks for them about how they, there's no way they're not going to find them again. Because they fit together so seamlessly. For the reformed, moment of truth states, You've seen your greatest mistakes and the rest of the world has too. They're all watching you now, judging your every move. When everything is on the line and your back is against the wall, though, you'll show them what you're made of. That being a hero is a choice, an act of will. And you've got what it takes to save the day. Of course, afterward, you can expect both sides, hero and villain, to deeply question where your loyalties lie. <clears throat> and so in this moment, a light bulb clicks and Starla sees the puzzle pieces fall into place. And these objects, these curios, these pieces of lore, science, and magic are but Legos to Starla as she puts them together and with each placement, the timeline begins to heal. Things begin to mend. We see all this work, all, all this chaos that Wiley has weaved into the cosmos be undone. And the terrors that were forming in reality begin to seal it shut. And in this last moment, as the last wound begins to close, stop. You are back on the street. A child is in danger. Your team is working their hardest against agents of the corporation. One has a clear shot at getting to the kid in time. What do you do? Do I remember what just happened, or is this just my brain just going there is reset? A, there is a moment, split hair second, where you recognize what needs to happen to save this kid, but also you remember everything that has happened. All that training Vale has given you in order to analyze every single moment with crystal clarity and dedicate to memory, because a hero is nothing if not their will. It is the accumulation of knowledge and the mm -hmm. formation of the will that makes heroes. And you have both, especially in this moment. Like to unlock my moment of truth, then. Fantastic. And Proges reads as such. Moment that you know who you really are. Your mentor or something different. You can do whatever your mentor could do and more. You can do the incredible, even the things they always failed to accomplish. Of course, they're not going to see you the same way, no matter which path you choose. So, the story is yours right now. What happens next? I'm going to paint this like a comic book real quick. As his feet start to move, we get a flash. 
Loki bringing in chicken and snacks. A new step. Flash. The mark. And next to him. And they're smiling and laughing. Flash. The foot leaps off of the pay the pay the pavement. And there's a moment where he remembers how good it felt to be part of a team again. And he sees his team who are who are currently fighting for their lives. She's, he sees the big laser beam that's supposed to hit this kid from a villain. Let's call him uh, the End Maker, a cybernetic robot from the future that wants to destroy everything. This is a big hitter, one that they're not equipped for at this point in time. That Vale has avoided themselves, but. This kid's not going to die, not on his watch. And as he, like, bounds in front, he watches the shields on his arms begin to cascade down. Become, becoming this, like, this armor of just scales. And you watch, at least I get to use this, and a big purple cape f flies out. So as the impact hits his shields, as he brings his ar arms up, there's a blast, and the cape goes out, but he is holding on to it. And even though it hurts, and though it, like, he can feel the pain throughout his, like, whole form, he's going to turn back to the kid and say, Hey, what's your name? Um, I'm Starla. Starla Delara? Little Starla? It's good to meet you. I'm going to get you out of here, okay? I guess. And the energy, the shields are going to, like, hold as much of it as they can. So as there's this explosion, there's pause, and everyone, like, like just looks. And there's a crater, but you see Scott and Star Starla safe and as the wisps of like fire go off of his shields it's gonna breathe new bloods let's fuck him up i think and... starla also looks up I i'm sorry i don't want to interrupt you too much but i think starla mm -hmm. looks up at strider and goes why did you save me you could have died What a hero does. Someone tell me that. And the new bloods do just that. They go and Endmaker did not account for this. This mm -hmm. was not the plan. And with a renewed fury and vigor, the team comes together. Endmaker is knocked unconscious and this is where i'm going to take a few liberties mm -hmm. and the new bloods are are hailed as heroes and are supported by the community and they continue to grow and in time, they end up joining many members with the Watchtower. However, I am fairly certain that a number of them understand the need for new heroes and how important having a good mentor is. And so three of the new bloods 
begin an academy in the Empire State. Rune, Whiplash, Scott, whatever mantle you choose to pick up after that moment, you are running the brand new Watchtower sponsored academy, Empire State. It's tied to Empire State University. Mm -hmm. As you guys think it important that there's a well-rounded education with mundane and supernatural educators. And it is the first day of classes. Mm -hmm. Orientation day. And amongst the new recruits, you see two bright individuals as they put down their names, what they want to be called for their, their superhero titles. And I believe one of them is Loki. And the other, well, Starla, times change. What name do you put down? Well, I'm no longer the mark, because I'm not marked in any way. Um, so maybe now I'm the saved. So, Loki and the saved are part of this group of 10 new fresh recruits. We'll look to them the class you are here because you want to be heroes and I want to stress a few things being a hero is hard there are going to be things that happen to you that are outside of your control there's a villain that's after you. They could go after your families or your friends or your life. There'll be times when the public hates you. But I think there's a glory in it. I mean, like, looks to the side and there's a picture on his desk of Clara and two kids who are younger, probably around two. But saving those that need help is what we do. Now, while this is a lecture, I like to start off with an example and he'll snap his fingers and the room shifts into this like X-Men danger room as look in place. And these like big draining robots come out. What? I'm gonna look to the two, two of them the most, but I'm also gonna look out to the group. The lesson starts now. Good luck. I hope you all like a little bit of chaos. And we get to see the class just unleash on these training bots. And that is where this story closes. Thank you all for being here. Stories are incredibly important. It's who we are as humans. It's what defines us and stories of being able to help one another. Because that's really what the hero fantasy is. It's having the ability and the opportunity to help. And I thank you in sharing this one with us. Now with that, let's find out where you can find these amazing storytellers, what they are up to and what's going on. So, Kayla, how are you doing, friend? Where can we find you? What are you up to? I'm doing all right. You can find me on Twitter 
and Twitch at Kale Kale Kaleidoscopes. I am a TPRG RPG and game right 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 writer slash design 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 designer. Um, and I'm just looking for work. If anybody's got anyone that needs a writer, just let me know. And Layla, how are you doing, friend? What are you up to? Where can we find you? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Well, you can find me on Saturday nights eating at home alone. Um, no, I, I, well, I have a show that's starting preview soon called The Secretaries at First Floor Theater. I was the dramaturg for this show. Um, if you like drag, all the characters are in drag for the show. So that's really fun. Um, I also, I'm mostly here. I like to play games. So let me be in your games. Allow me to be in your games. I enjoy it. I um, enjoy playing off of other people and I am a little bit chaotic, but I do try to rein it in sometimes. Um, and you can find me on Twitter at El Bamanziari. Awesome. And last and certainly not least, Faye. How are you doing, friend? What are you up to and where can we find you? Uh, I'm doing good. Um, you can find me on the three T's of the internet. Hi, AJ. Uh, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. Uh, almost Faye. Uh, I do a bunch of different things. I will be coming back to Twitch. I've just been been having the, the, the brain weasel time. Um, but other than that, I'm not doing much right now. I'm working. And, uh, yeah. I said at the start of this I was going to try and not be as chaotic. Uh, so, if that's anything to go by, like, I, I'm literally, for the finale, I'm wearing a t-shirt that says chaotic neutral. Because predictability is a weakness just this is my um brand and i can't get away from it it Bay is a beautiful amount of chaos and and um <laughs> we, we love fey we love fey for sure and as for me i am pope Pope World Bill on Twitter, Pope World Bill on Twitch. I'm working all your streams. If you want to see more of my ridiculous face, you get a few opportunities throughout the week. Uh, coming up next is a double header on Saturdays. Um, first is Mechton over Praxagor of Thesmophoria. I know that's a lot of letters. Follow me on Twitter and you'll get the go live tweet. Um, that's from 4.30. Uh, and then at 9 p.m. is our penultimate episode of Defiant the Trail of the Dead over on Baldrian's channel on 9 p.m. Eastern. And then 8 p.m. see the other channel that has done the terrible mistake of trusting me to run a story over on Laugh, Love, Lindy as we are getting to our fourth episode of Innistrad, Fang, and Shadow. If you like Magic the Gathering and D&D 5e, this is where they come together. Uh, and then on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern over on Follow Black Cats, uh, come see some equally as chaotic disaster spies in the spy game Hex Crawl. Uh, and thank you all for being here. We're a live VOD YouTube. The story is nothing without its audience, and we're much part of this as we are. And until next time, take care of yourselves and one another. And hopefully, we'll see you soon. <laughs>